Welcome guys to another video. Um, today, me and Hugo are at PSI. Uh, we're going to check out his Evo uh, and we're going to check out the Golf. Mainly it's just a health check on uh, the cars. Uh, Hugo's car is uh, spitting a lot of soot. Uh, it's going a bit rich on cold starts and stuff. So we're just going to check it out. He hasn't since he bought it. so. And pull in the dyno and uh, check everything over uh, and then we're going to check out the golf as well uh, because every time that i've been here there has been some issues with the car uh, that i've had to fix and now that everything is working properly uh, hopefully hopefully we can uh, sort everything out so uh, i'll uh, film a bit for you guys and uh, i'll tell you how it goes Okay, so uh, the Evo is on the dyno now, and uh, I hope you can hear me because the volume is pretty low. But anyways, how are you uh, feeling right now, Hugo? Nervous. Very nervous. Alright. <laughs> I don't think it's going to blow up, though. They are checking the uh, values in the VPEC and stuff right now, checking everything over. So soon they will do a dyno pull, I think. Hopefully. So uh, we are done now, uh, with the EVO at least. It went well. Um, there uh, were a few parameters that we had to fix and a sensor uh, that was broken. But um, now it runs just like a dream. So uh, that's uh, awesome. Hugo is uh, very happy that uh, his car didn't explode. And uh, yeah, there's um, way less soot coming out of the car now. Especially when uh, cold starting and stuff. Uh, or well, we don't know that. but. Uh, they uh, adjusted some things. So uh, now it's time for uh, the Golf to do uh, some pulls and stuff and uh, figure a few things out. Hopefully that will uh, sort things out and uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you guys some pulls. Time for the Volkswagen. Hell yeah! New turbo, new turbo. <laughs> So this is now a few days after uh, I realized that I forgot to film an outro uh, when we went to dyno the cars. We went to the tuners with both the Golf and the Evo. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'll have to do that. Uh, now as I said in the previous clip, uh, it went very, very well. Uh, the Golf uh, runs very nice now. We ironed out some uh, things with the DSG, some fueling issues. Uh, and stuff like that and the Evo we also fixed we had some issues with the Lambda and uh, stuff like that so it goes uh, it runs very nice now Hugo was uh, very worried about the car because it's been running a little weird and stuff like that so now we got everything figured out and uh, we know everything is all right so I'm just going to show you the papers because this is crazy let's see here we got Here are the papers for the Golf. They look very nice, smooth curve. It's a, a thrust bearing GT uh, 2871. 
from Max Speeding Rods. So I got up to 360 horsepower just about. Uh, we back down to 350 because uh, we added 0.2 bar of boost and it did 10 horsepower so we went back a little bit but up to around 350, 360 horsepower and uh, 440 newton meters. This is Hugo's curve on the Evo. Now also very smooth, very nice curve. He's not sure exactly what kind of turbo it is, but it's some kind of Evo 8 turbo uh, or some hybrid or something. It's a newer one, Evo 8 or Evo 8.5, so it's not the Evo 6 turbo. So we're pushing it quite a lot. I think we went uh, about 1.5 bar, but he said it was more. We don't, we're, we're not quite sure, but yeah, also 300, 366 horsepower. So it's basically the same. Now, this is pretty cool. This is the two uh, maps overlapped, both the Evo and the Golf. And they're super close, which is kind of cool. I didn't think it would be that close. Uh, Hugo's car feels like it spools a lot earlier. He has shorter gears and stuff, uh, but it feels like it hits boost a little bit faster and obviously it shows in the map. What does he have like? About two, two, three hundred RPM earlier spool, all the way up to like 4,000, 4,500 4, RPM. He is a little bit ahead of me, but it's pretty much the same curve, which is kind of cool. So they're very equal. Uh, now uh, mine is a DSG and he's four wheel drive manual with super short gear. So uh, still pretty different cars, but <laughs> ultimately very close in power. So uh, that was very cool. Yeah, that will be it for the tuning video, I guess. Uh, if you have any questions on uh, everything, the setup and stuff, just leave a comment down below. Uh, I will uh, put everything in the um, description. But uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment down below and I'll uh, see if I can answer them. Now I'm going to start on the next video on the golf. Exciting. Sneak peek. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, just uh, leave a like, leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.